As you remember from previous section, we added an input filter for BGP peer router 3 and as you can see, this way we could change the weight of some routes that we could receive and this way we selected another path instead of the default path that BGP calculated for us. Uh, this is a filter that we apply to the routes that we receive from a specific neighbor. In Cisco platform, we have the ability to add weight to a specific neighbor itself, not for the route. This way, any route that we receive from that neighbor is preferred over other routes that we receive from other routers. But as you can see here, I cannot find anything like this. And of course, not all things here uh, look like what we see in Cisco platform. But what we can see here is this. Okay, now I want to remove this filter from this router and click on OK. Now if I go to IP routes, I can see that again the path through router 2 is preferred over router 3. Now I want to go for the next thing and the next type of change that we can do is changing the local pref attribute. What is local pref attribute? That's the local preference and it is valid inside the whole AS. So, if I go for example and change the local preferences of some routes on router 3, router 3 will make it effective on itself and of course it will propagate that to router 1 and router 1 will propagate it to router 2. So any change I make on the routes will go through the whole autonomous system. For example, autonomous system 1, 2, 3 here. So this is a good thing. By increasing the local preferences of some routes on a specific router, I will make other routers to choose this router as their exit points. So let's do this. How can I do this? I can go to router 3 and do this on that for example. On router 3, I go to routing filters again and add a filter. I'm going to change its name to local pref for example. And I'm not selecting any prefix this way. This is going to be effective on all routes that I receive. I'm not going to select any BGP matchers as well, but what I am going to do is to change the action to accept, and of course pass through I guess will do. And I go to BGP actions, and you can see that here we have a set BGP local preference. And I can select a high value for this. Any route in the local autonomous system will be marked with local preference of 100. So any value all, more than 100 will work here. I want to add a value of, for example, 10,000. And I guess the highest value is 65,000. So I click on Apply, click on OK, and now I have a chain here that I can go and add it to router 3's neighbor. And which neighbor I want to add? I want to add it to neighbor ISP1. Any route that comes in from ISP1 will, uh, you know, uh, change its local preference to 10,000. And of course I can do this uh, with an out filter. I can select router 1 and uh, tell router 1 that I am sending you these routes, but before sending them I will change the local preference to 10 so let's go to router 3 again. Here I go to routing BGP, select ISP1, and here I have an input filter that's going to be local prep. Select this, click on apply, click on OK, and this way after a moment you can see that the neighborship is going to be established again. Now if I go to advertisement, I can see that the routes from ISP1 are advertised to router 1 with a very high local preference. Now if I go to router 1, I can see again that router 3 is the preferred output because the local preference is too high. How can I check this? Select one of these routes 
and go to attributes, you can see that the BGP local preference is 10,000. So this is why I am preferring this over this that has a local preference of uh, the default value that is 100. So this is the second type of path selection by increasing the local preference of some route on a specific router I am selecting that router as my exit point and this is being propagated to all routers in that autonomous system and you know uh, contrary to what we saw on weight weight is not propagated weight is a local value local preference is local to the whole autonomous system